All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan, it, dan, dan, it, dan, it, dan. Dean Bodie Show. Hey, everybody, what's going on? It's Thursday, and it looks like we're going to be dragging a pet peeve Wednesday. We're dragging it over to Thursday. Oh, yeah, because of the landscaper hedge cutting guy. You know, the, the same kind of pet peeve people are going to pop up, you know, from time to time because. They just can't seem to get it dialed in. Oh, yeah. DeanBody.com is the website. And uh, we got the links on there. One will get you to the podcast. Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts. We're on all the platforms. And the social link will get you over to the YouTube channel. D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I Space Show. YouTube channel. We got the teasers on there. Remember, Bodie's in all the teasers. You don't want to miss those. And those are just little snippets we do earlier in the day. Just kind of giving you a little poke and getting you ready for the longer podcast show. Show podcast that we're doing right now. Because the long videos match up with the long audios. How cool is that? Oh yeah, you get two, two for one kind of thing over here, Dean Bodie Show. Man, good girl Bodie, good, good girl, good girl Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com. 800 878 The Bodie Hotline. Fun line. Call the Bodie line. Bodie loves you line. We love you here, Dean Bodie Hotline. Call her. Say something nice to Bodie. She's waiting for you. Say your name, where you're from, you know, and do a little sing-along. Your little zippity-doo-dah. We'll sing it with you. We'll make it a feature on the show. Anything you want to discuss, you want us to bounce off of something you're going through in your life, you want to give us a shout out. You want to say, hey, nice going. You want to, I don't know, say something uh, really cool and we'll say something cool back. How's that sound? <laughs> all right. So look, you ever just get all cranked up? My anxiety, I've been dealing with high anxiety at a high level <laughs> for over 25 years. Easy. And when somebody has to come in this apartment and we got to move things around and shuffle things around or, or it could be just one of those days, the anxiety's going through the roof. And then after you get done, after moving everything around, as an example, okay? So they came in, they had to roll the new refrigerator in here, roll it out. But before that, the prep work, right, of getting ready for these maintenance guys to do their thing because they're not putting things on their feet like they should. They're tracking and stuff. They're marching around. They're sweating all over the place. It, my anxiety goes, if it's a scale of 1 to 10, it goes to, I don't know, 304. So, but when it's all said and done and they leave, and this could happen even if, like, um, I remember getting my TV replaced. It's something positive and something you're looking forward to, but they're still coming in here messing things up, throwing things around, tracking stuff in from the outside. Man, it just takes me down a road that I can't stand. But the funny thing is, every time it's happened, and um, I don't know, I would say, yeah, I'd say every time that you have to move everything out of the way, like you gotta get the couch out of the way, or the entertainment center's gotta be pulled, and they gotta rewire this and do that. You gotta, I have these rugs you gotta move out of the way, and Bodie's beds, and end tables, and all this stuff. It's stressful. And, but when they leave, and it's all done, and you start piecing it back together, you vacuum the place up, you're wiping things back down, Sometimes it looks better than it did before for some reason. I don't know what it is about that. Like the couch I had to move. I mean, I had to shove this couch. And I've got this little kind of animal rug underneath the end of the couch. And I'm like, oh, no. Now it's going to crinkle up the rug. It's going to mess up the rug. I gotta, I'm got i going through it, man. Like you don't even know. And when he leaves or those guys leave after they delivered the fridge, I slid the couch back. Okay. You know, because I'm strong like that. I can do it. And um, it ended up sliding to a better spot on the area rug for some reason, where it showed more of the rug than it did before. I, I didn't know. I couldn't believe it. It was like, how did that happen where it landed perfect? Sometimes it just works out like that. So you get all cranked up. And this is a lesson I have to learn about myself on a daily you get all cranked up, 
more than you really need to be and you get all worried about more stuff than you need to be. It's just human nature. And then when it's all said and done, everything's all nicey nice again and you're good to go. Oh yeah! Hey Millie! Yeah! You hear what he said? You know you, you get all stressed out when people come over and have to work on their house and do stuff like that. Yeah, I know! It stresses me out to the max! You get stressed out too! <laughs> oh my god, Dean Bodie's funny! So, you know, look, we deal with things, you gotta try to not get yourself all whatever, but, you know, when you deal with the anxiety and I do at a high level, it's something that I have to grind through. And that's all. You try to make the next day a little bit better than the day before. So, Pet Peeve Wednesday is getting dragged over to Thursday today because, oh yeah, 8.30 in the morning, 8 o'clock, Mr. Tri uh, hedge trimmer decided to come because Tuesday is the landscaper day. I already know this. The mowing guys come. You know, you hear them. The clipper guys, the blower guys, they're all coming out, cranking up all their devices with the freaking sound pollution like nobody's business. But this guy is the worst one. He's coming with the long hedge clippers Right by the bedroom window, man. He's right there, and it seemed like he was there for about five hours. It might have been about, I don't know, ten minutes, but it felt like five hours to me. And I was woken up, and I just started actually kind of giggling. I guess you could call it a kind of anxiety and disbelief of stressed out kind of laugh. You know, where it's a laugh, but you're angry. An angry kind of laugh, but you, you just kind of know you have to deal with it. So the, he's getting around the hedges, and he's actually hitting the window a little bit with the, with the machine, with the clipper, just to add insult to injury and really crank it up a notch. Oh, yeah. So I'm sitting there like, when is this guy going to get done? And I walk outside to take Bodie out to see what he did. It looks, it definitely looks better. But what does he do? He walks in the mudded area, which is around the hedges, because the landscaping around the hedges where they should have some nice, you know, rocks or some kind of mulch looking thing, something to make it nicer than it's just dirt, you know? But we had a little bit of rain yesterday, so he steps in the dirt with his big work boots and marches the mud footprints all over the cement area where you come outside. So, thanks. Good job. Good job trimming the hedges. Way to go, Mr. Maintenance uh, Supersonic, uh, you know, uh, hedge clipper guy. But you know, you got to step the mud and you got to march the mud footprints all over the place. So, you did one good thing and you did a bad thing. You kind of crossed out, you know, the nice landscaping thing when you put mud everywhere. Can you not sweep up after yourself? Can you not clean up after yourself, whether it's the garbage guy tossing garbage everywhere with the giant truck or the landscaper guy marching mud all over the place? I mean, seriously, they just don't care. In my opinion, that's what it is. They just don't care. So, She's a good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Yeah, the good girl, Bodie. Yeah, the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com. 800-878-9698. The Bodie Hotline. Call it. Say something cool. Do a little sing-along. We'll sing it with you. We'll make it a feature on the show. Wow. So, we're going to take kind of a hard right turn right now because I came across on Netflix the Cobra Kai. Oh, I'm right back to back in the day, the Karate Kid and the whole thing. I am pleasantly surprised that they're really putting this thing together the way they are. I can't believe it. With the same kind of things, but it's a little bit more up to date and they're more grown up and all this stuff. But I'm getting a total kick out of it, binge watching Cobra Kai. And uh, what a trip. And he's taking these kids through the thing with the wax on, the wax off, paint the fence, mop the floor. And going through all these fun techniques. And I'm just getting a kick out of it, man. Because that movie was a game changer, right? He did that, whatever you call that, crane move at the end. And wins the tournament. And they're still going through it. And the one guy that came in second place, he's still going through it. 
with the whole loss of the whole thing, man. It's all this drama. Recommend the Cobra Kai. Oh, yeah. Wax on. Wax off, baby. That's how we're doing it. So, listen. We're calling you out here from Dallas, Texas. And, uh... Having a good time over here. And, you know, hey, listen, let's chime in with my sidekick over here just for fun because she's been doing such a good job. Hey, Alexa, what's the joke of the day? Today I have a Batman joke. What was Bruce Wayne's favorite baby toy? The Bat Mobile. <laughs> what was Batman's favorite baby toy? The bat mobile. Oh, okay, like the mobile the babies play with. Very cute. A L E X A comes through again. Oh yeah, out here in Dallas, Texas, once again. Hee-haw. That's how we do it over here, D Bodie. Oh yeah. Too much fun. Let's see, see what's going on over here, Dean Bodie. Man, we don't want to shortchange anybody, Dean Bodie show. A zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a glorious day. Pet peeve Wednesday was coming today. Oh my goodness, zippity a. Yada pee da ba da boo doo. Ba da pee, ba ba. Zappity da 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 ya ba da ba ba. Yada dee dee. Oh my gosh. Body by Jake and the super glue. Listen, I have this thing that I ordered from Amazon. It's one of these Texas style, you know, when you see them on front of the old school Cadillacs with the, with the skull and the horns of the bull. And I thought I'd order one and put one over, <laughs> over my headboard on my bed. So this thing comes all packaged up, and all you got to do is snap the horns on the head, and it just really fits on there. I was like, is this really it, putting it together like that? One of them ends up breaking. It so happens that I have crazy glue or super glue, whatever you want to call it. I have a tube, and I'm like, I know what I can do. I can super glue it back on, and I'll fix it. So... An unbelievable thing started to happen. I'm putting the glue on there. It's not really working. I don't know. It's not making good contact. And I'm squeezing more. I went through the entire tube. And here what happens? It shoots all over my hand. And if you've never gotten super glue on your hand before, oh, it's like an, this is the biggest nightmare. I could almost, I almost could not pry my fingers apart where... You know that one kind of, it's on there so good that you start to get nervous that you can't really pull them apart and you, you better go for it before it gets in too solid, but you think you might rip the skin right off? It was right there. It turns out where I got my fingers apart and it did not rip the skin off. It was a close one, big time. I was like, I'm going to be stuck together. I'm going to be stuck together with making the okay sign for like, I don't know, the rest of the year maybe. And people are gonna walk by and go, what, yeah, what's going on? Yeah, hey, okay, 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 Mr. Okay sign. And I just have it kind of permanently in the okay sign. But got the fingers apart. It didn't rip the skin off. It was such a relief because you wanna talk about cranking up the anxiety again. Here we go. So I get the glue on there and it turns out that I nailed it this time. Even though I had it all over my hands, it made contact. So I got the horns to stay. A miracle. The glue is all over me. So I get the horns done. I hang it up over the bed. Okay, it looks pretty cool, actually. It's very Texas kind of style. So it's up there. And uh, now I got this crazy glue all over my hands. So what do you think that I do next? Of course, I'm going to go to YouTube and say, hey, I'm going to punch in Remove crazy glue from skin. Of course, five, six videos pop up. Everything you need to know is on YouTube. So, most importantly, Dean Bodie Show. Da -na -da -da -na -da -na -da. Dean Bodie Show. Hey! So, he, I go on. The first guy is, first of all, the first one was talking about the nail polish remover with the acetone and all this soaking and all of this wiping and soaking and wiping and wiping and soaking. I don't have nail polish remover, none of that stuff. So I go down a little further and there's the next guy. What does he do? He gets a little soap on there. He gets a little sharp knife and he just starts scraping it. 
back and forth, forth and back until he finally gets it off. I go another video down and this kid, it sounded like a young kid. He didn't show his face or nothing, but I'm like, let me see what this guy's got to say. He gets a razor like you shave your face with, okay? He gets the shaving cream on there and I'm like, okay, I have a razor, I have shaving cream. This has got to be the one for me. So I put the shaving, forget the water on there. I put the shaving cream on there. First, my first attempt, I went in there with regular soap and water. Doesn't even do nothing, right? Just washing it and trying to get it off. Then I go and I had some rubbing alcohol. Wasn't doing anything. So I watching this video, kid, and he's got the shaving cream on there. And his thought process was kind of like the guy with the knife. But he was like, you know, because a razor is designed to shave the hair, but not really cut the skin, but shave that layer like you're shaving your face, kind of. I'm like, okay, I think his kid's on to something. So he's doing his thing. He does it, and it comes off. He does a whole test, puts the glue on his hand, and does the whole, lets it dry, and shows us. I'm like, okay, I'm going for it. I go in there, and I've got it all over both of my hands. Get the shaving cream on there. I let it get on there and soothe it down a little bit. Soothe it up. Soothe it down. Moisturize it a little bit. Let it penetrate, right? Let it go to work, the shaving cream. Then I start shaving with the razor gently on my hand. What do you know? It's working. It's working like big time. So I go through the whole thing. I'm basically the first time I've ever shaved my hands but I got it all off. Nice going, YouTube guy. Yes, I gave that guy a thumbs up. Man, I mean, I couldn't believe it. So the super glue is off. The horns are above my uh, headboard. Mission accomplished. What a project. But it all worked out okay. So the next thing that I wanted to talk to you about today, wow, check it out, all kinds of stuff going on over here, Dean Bodie. Zippity doo da, zippity a, got the super glue off today. Hey, so, um, Body by Jake. If you don't remember this guy that always said, "Don't quit," okay, has this thing, and he uh, actually trademarked the name "Don't Quit," and he had Body by Jake, and he would sell exercise equipment. You got, he's just one of these guys, very likable guy. It turns out he's got these new nutritional shakes now, and I saw him on the Adam Carolla podcast. Nice going, Body by Jake. Good to see you again. So he starts, he's, he says, I don't take supplements and this and that, but I've always drank a shake. Nice marketing. <laughs> Come on, man. This guy's been a bodybuilder his whole life. Give me this, you don't take supplements, but he's always made a shake. But I get it. Shake rhymes with Jake, but he's got these pre-made shakes I, I ordered some of the uh, the cream sickle ones, and we're going to give him a try just because the guy's too cool, and uh, he's a warm fuzzy for me in my life, um, workout guy and all that stuff. So, yep, Body by Jake's got the shakes. The cream sickle's on its way. We're going to try them. The whole point behind it was is that he wanted to make something better than some of these, you know, other shakes you see on the over the counter that are just loaded with sugar or corn syrup, or all kinds of additives and stuff. This is a much better product and something that, you know, the elderly are easy to get down and all that stuff and um, all the vitamins and minerals and things like that. So we're gonna give it a try and um, it was really cool. The Body by Jake, don't quit, oh yeah. So look, that being said, what a journey I just kind of took you on. Man, we got the super glue dialed in. We got the anxiety down. Bodie and I are having a great day over here around the neighborhood. The cooler weather is here in Dallas. We couldn't be happier about that. Bodie loves the cooler weather as she's from the wintry mountains of Japan. Oh yeah. And uh, I love the cooler weather myself. Man, I feel it coming through. It's invigorating. And uh, wow, enough of the hot three triple digits. We're definitely over that. You make it a great day. We're going to be coming at you the rest of the week, man. We're going to have a lot of fun this week on Dean Bodie's show. And uh, that being said, have an awesome rest of your day. We will talk at you tomorrow. And remember, we're coming at you daily because life comes at you daily, not weekly and monthly. DeanBodie.com. Oh, yeah.